Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a slight bit different. This is going to be kind of a fix slash like technology type video, which I don't normally do, but I wanted to upload this because when I was researching this topic, I could not find anything on it. So I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know the problem that I had with this microphone right here and how I resolved it and fixed the problem. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Also, I do just want to apologize. I am a tad bit sick at the moment. So if my voice sounds a bit different or a little bit more raspy and sick-like, that is why. But let's just go ahead and get right into it. So as you guys can see, this is the microphone that I use. It is a Tackstar SGC598. Uh, Sorry, I'm reading it through the viewfinder. But it's a really good mic. It's about $30 on Amazon. It works really well. It comes with these three options right here. Um, this is to drown out the background noise or like the bass. This is also a 10 decibel boost. And then this is the power button right here, as you guys can see. And then on this side is where you put the battery in, all that good stuff. And then, of course, it has the plug-in right here. So that is that. It's a really good mic. I really enjoy using it. But the problem I found with this is, as you guys can see, this is the mounting piece that came with it. And it actually works pretty well for uh, most people, I guess, because I haven't seen a fix to this yet. But for me, um, it is down too tight. You guys can see there the circle part around here is down way too tight and it doesn't twist like it's supposed to to loosen and to tighten it. So um, it's basically stuck like this, and it will not fit on my camera like that. Um, so I found a little fix for it. I wanted to show you guys in case anybody else has a problem with it. But this is the piece that it originally came with. So this is where the original piece that came with it goes on. It goes on just like that with the little pieces. And then it has a little screw that goes in it, which I actually put my screw right there in case I ever need it again. But again, this is a faulty piece for me. I don't know if this happens a lot or if it just is mine, but um, that is what happened with mine. I can't unscrew it to loosen it, to slide it onto my camera mount. So I found another solution to it and I'm about to show you guys that now. So the solution I found to this is to order a hot shoe mount off of Amazon. It just looks like this. This is what it looks like. It just has this these two little screws on it um, that go like this, and then this is the part that obviously attaches to the camera. And um, this is what I used. It came in a pack of two. It's just a hot shoe mount. It's a one fourth um, inch adapter um, to a little camera hot shoe mount. So this is what I ordered on Amazon. I will leave links to all this stuff down below, including the mic. Um, so you guys can see what I ordered and how I fixed this problem. But this is what it looks like before you do anything to it. Um, it took several days to come because I ordered it before Memorial Day. But um, yeah, it was very cheap. And again, it came in a pack of two. And you can also get a pack of four of these. So this is what I ordered. It just looked like that. And then what I did to fix my mic problem is I just screwed this top piece off right here. So I just screwed that top piece off right here, as you guys can see. And on my microphone, as you guys can see, I already put one on there. Um, this don't fit completely because, as you guys can see, it kind of grooves in here. But it does the job well enough. So I just took the top piece of that and I slid it under here and just kind of pushed it. As you guys can see, I did it there already. I'm not going to do it again on here. But I just slid it under there until, I don't know if you guys can really see that, until the holes line up with this circle right here or the back one wherever you prefer I prefer it on the front or you could put it on the back hole too but I prefer it on the front so you just slide that piece in there and then after you did that of course you are left with this little piece right here which all I did for this was take where I put that little top half of it slide this down a little bit not all the way down but as far down as you want it. And then you take this and you just put it in here and you start to screw it on from the little square piece. Just like that until it's tight. 
and there is your solution. Um, and then, of course, if you want to make it even tighter, you can unscrew this piece and make it even more tight. And, of course, when you put it on the camera, you can unscrew this piece and tighten it down on there and then just move this up a slight bit even more. So that is the solution I found to this problem. Like I said, the top piece right here doesn't go completely flush, if you guys can see there. I don't really know how to show you guys, but it doesn't go completely flush. It's still kind of, there you can kind of see, it kind of still sticks on the top half of this. But this works, and then you can just slide it right onto your camera and it'll be attached. So yeah, that's a very simple fix for that problem and a very cheap fix. I believe two of these was $6 plus shipping on Amazon and it was very, very easy. And now I can actually film my room tour and everything else that I wanted to film that required my microphone to be attached. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it was a little bit different, but like I said at the beginning of this video, I wanted to film this for anybody who had the same problem. So if you guys have had the same problem, please let me know. And um, if this helped you in any way, please let me know as well. And feel free to like and comment and share this with all your friends. And I will be back with normal videos here soon, but I just wanted to do this. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.